let's begin. We lead the week with Lehigh and Bucknell. That's why we love this show. Uh, this matchup coming up tonight in the Patriot League uh, with Bucknell 7-5 and five in the conference at home in uh, Lewisburg, Virginia tonight, 7 Eastern time. You see Bucknell is a slight favorite uh, in this one, laying a point and a half, total 140 and a half for this matchup. So let's get things underway. Matt Cox, start us off. You're going to have an official play on this game. What drew you to Lehigh and Bucknell? I'm curious. Well, you know, as you mentioned, T.A., not a ton of great options on the board tonight, but I, I will kind of underscore I'm not going to get cute with my first half wagers anymore. I think that was three in a row. I've lost first half, but the bets won full game. So just going to keep it simple here. I'm looking at Lehigh, the road team, full game at Bucknell, only a 90-mile trip uh, after play on Saturday. So it should not be a pretty – um, it should not be a strong home court at all here uh, for Bucknell. Also, the Patriot League at large. We've talked about prior shows how it's one of the worst home court conferences in college basketball. It's been a continuous year-over-year trend. This year, home court's almost worth negative. Um, they've won 48% of their games. They're 29 and 31 outright. So uh, if you're looking to bet a road team in this conference, you usually have kind of an edge, I think, because the market still gives some home to the some value to these home teams when it's not warranted. Now, you could argue tonight it is warranted. Lehigh coming off a double overtime win less than 48 hours ago against one of the top dogs in the league. But the key part of his handicap is they got a guy named Keith Higgins back. He's a really critical starter, a multi-year uh, pillar for this program, does a little bit of everything. You know, Just kind of that winning type of glue player that I think is undervalued in the market. And we saw his impact right away, right? Had 15 points, 24 minutes, and that big win over Lafayette. Now, I think they keep this rolling tonight with the depth that Lehigh has, right? They're not going to be at risk for the late-game collapse of wear and tear and fatigue that some of these other teams might be. Ken Palm, 15%, sorry, top 15 in the country in percent of bench minutes used. Preseason, I think the team was just outright better than Bucknell. I think the way the Patriots swung so far, it's portraying Bucknell as a better team. I don't see it that way. I think you're betting the better team with no home court with a key player back that's looking to kind of ride an upswing of momentum here. So keeping it simple, I'm taking the Mountain Hawks on the road in Lewisburg. All right, Corby Craig, uh, Matt gave us his thoughts on this. Interesting, these teams did play about three weeks ago. Looks like Bucknell won the game um, at Lehigh um, here in an 86-80 to 80 game. Thoughts on that and on this, uh, maybe the total for this one tonight. I know you often focus in on the total. Yeah, an interesting thing about that game, TJ, is they, they shot 25 and 29 free throws respectively in that game. Uh, mm. Like This is not a Bucknell team that really cares to play fast. I think that speaks the 305th in the nation in, in uh, tempo percent or tempo place, I guess. Uh, and this is a, a Bucknell team who lost their starting point guard January, I think, 17th, uh, which was after that. Lehigh matchup that they had, uh, they are 318th in the nation in turnover rate. So this is a team that I think uh, if you thought in the preseason that they were not as good, you definitely have worse opinions at this point, even uh, no matter how the seasons went for Lehigh, a team who I do think has streaky shooters, the 46th in the nation in tempo, it's, it's going to be a hit or miss streaky type of shooting. It's the same Alabama situation. Like Alabama can beat anybody unless they're missing. Lehigh gets good shots. Like, from a, a analytic standpoint, they're always going to have good shots. Um, and I, I'm not selling off on this team at all. I've seen a whole bunch of people are respecting market on Lehigh. I didn't bet this, but I definitely think this is the right side. I made Lehigh 1.7 favorites, so uh, basically just flip the number. I think it's right. Uh, you can get them as a small dog right now. Yeah, I'm surprised the market's not betting Lehigh. I think why they're not is because of that double OT situation 48 hours ago. But again, I think it's a unique spot where the depth that they have buoyed by Higgins coming back to the fold, I think really makes them, um, you know, like I said, immune to that sort of letdown or collapse today. We have a viewer... It's in the live chat. Monday Flavor says, I was born in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. How about that? Uh, Bucknell at home here, 7 Eastern time tonight. CBS Sports Network has it. The Bison of Bucknell, the Lehigh Mountain Hawks. I didn't realize that there was a distinction between Hawks being in the mountains or not. I thought they were just Hawks. Hawks but they are, the, they are the Mountain Hawks. And Matty Cox says, I'm on the Mountain Hawks tonight of Lehigh. He will take them. In this first game of the week, the first handicap of the week is Lehigh plus the one and a half. Again. 